So in a new document, this part on a new layer, I have this uh, image drawn up here. So when you take a look at this illustration, you have a number of ways to begin to draw this. And that is trying to just simply build it up in the perspective drawing that we've done before. And taking the direct selection tool, you can start to manipulate and or turn some of these. In the pen tool, you have the anchor point tool where you can click and drag these corners a little bit. It's one way to start to illustrate this. And notice that the handles as they come out, taking the direct selection tool allows you to, to build that part up. And again, with the eyedrop tool, I'm just going to click on a color that's in one of the photographs to take it from there. From this point, taking the pen tool again and just creating a rectangular shape or chance right there. And again, taking the eyedrop tool, get a little darker value to it using the photographs on the screen to help. Taking the direct selection tool allows me to take some of these corners. So just kind of thinking of a shape within a shape trying to give you as many different ways to, to think this over. And when you take a look at the effect, and you can take a look at some of the distort and stylize, you have all these different options. And again, even under the blur, there's the Gaussian blur that'll soften some of those pieces there. So it's one way to kind of start to think of the shading. Another option is to taking the gradient section, and the gradient style here, and then under these swatches to give yourself the uh, gradients beneath this. So you can grab some of these colors as far as as soon as you click on them, they'll put them right into your palette so you have them. So that looks like a pretty good, good approach. So that gives you a little bit of a tone that you can kind of work with on top of it. So it gives us, and if I do this as a shape, direct selection tool here, let's curve all of them at the same time. And again, using the gradient. this section here so you can either stretch it or move it as you go and under the effect the last effect that you have will also appear to that section there so it's trying to That gives you a little bit of this <coughs> stylization. And again, you can still, it's kind of giving the <coughs> forcing, the shading with that. And again, I can illustrate it right from the beginning here. Go a little darker, use this gradient. And I'm going to throw a little bit of the transparency. Here's the effect again with the blur take a look at the appearance or the transformation transparency I have up here. Let's soften that a little bit just to work with that section there. And then the last part is just trying to create this pattern. Just command click so you can deselect that part. that in there. Group this together. And this is just two shapes, but underneath the uh, section, it'll give you a little bit of the transformation that you can try. That'll give you that section. 
And under the effects, if you take a look at the effect gallery, this gives you the pattern. You can actually texturize this. You have all these different options with the relief, the scaling. Click OK. And you can kind of get this. Again, you can use the effects. Going down the blur. preview a little bit. Softens that edge. And again with the transparency you can lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so that's one way to create this shape. 